Okay, welcome to Talking Greatness. I'm your host, J.O. Stax, and we have our first official guest, my master debater's co-host. You may know this face from around the block here. I'm here with my boy, NJ. So what's up, NJ? What's going on? What's going on? I'm happy to be here for the very first episode Thank of Talking you. Greatness. It's going would... to be hopefully a lot of greatness. Yes. That's all I can say. You know, I wouldn't have any other person as my first guest, so hey. I guess let's get right into it. You yes. know, like, what is your definition of greatness? I think... Uh, I think there's a lot of things that define greatness. Right. It just depends on how you look at it. Um, I think, to me, what greatness is... I, and this might be a weird answer, but I think greatness is routine, to be honest right. with you. I think, I think every person that is great has a great routine. Right. And I think that there isn't anyone in the world who is great that doesn't have a great routine. That is true. So I think it all comes down to how disciplined you can be and how, how much you can stay on that routine. And, you know, they, they say you need to do things. I think it's 21 days in a row to build yeah. a habit, you know. So uh, I think it comes down to that. I think it comes down to just forcing yourself to do the things that you may not want to do in order to complete your objectives and complete your goals. Um, and, and that's, to me, what I think greatness is in a person. Right. You know, um, it, it, on a bigger scale, though, I think uh, greatness is something that you can um, almost uh, look at and immediately be inspired by. True. Whether it be you know music, movies, um, even just other people, right? You look at maybe that person or that or that you listen to that song or you see that movie and you and just it's like this is it, it, it's in the feels. You're like yeah, because you, know? you know sometimes you know when I'm when I'm in a writing mood or right. a creative mood. Um, and I, I see some type of imagery, like in, in a movie, for example, mm -hmm. um, it makes me like inspired. Like I want to go write more, that you know, is even if maybe if I had a little bit of a, a, a writer's block and I have a good conversation with another one of my artist friends that, you know, is great. I get home and the first thing that I want to do is like spend two to three hours just writing, right. you know? So, uh, I, I think that's kind of where I would differentiate greatness in a person from greatness in a, in a in a, like a media, right? Mm -hmm. Greatness in a media to me is like something that just gives me overwhelming like inspiration. And it, it doesn't even have to be like happy. It can be like sad inspiration. It can be like something like maybe that um, inspires me to do something that I didn't think I could do right. before. Like a, 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 maybe um, a breakup or maybe like cut, yeah, you know, cutting a toxic person out of your life. Or That can be a key element because greatness does really have to do with the people around you as exact, well. Exactly. A hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, your team is another huge, huge factor in that. Whatever you're doing, whether uh, you're, you know, uh, like I said, making music or, or, or into um, like visual uh, arts, like movies or anything like that. Or even just like in your day to day, like if whether you're like working at McDonald's or you're, you know, you're a, a salesperson on a sales force selling cars or something like that if you have good like people around you that are going to push you to do that better whatever it is you're doing you're going to have a better chance of succeeding right again it's going to come down to your routine it's going to come down to your strategy and your willingness to get there but uh i think i think it stems from those couple things you know your routine people around you and and, and your ability to be inspired by other things right <laughs>